All right, let's try who is that? I hate this game. Is that Lorenzo? Guys, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue who this is. Welcome to the sports office. I am Ryan Green. This is Romy Bean. This is Michael Spencer. And this is the show where we just get to talk about kind of what we want to talk about. No news directors or producers telling us to stay on time, stay within the three minutes, right? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. I guess I guess there are some people Who telling needs us news that. News producers. Woof. Quite the. Uh, Something that happened on Sunday. I don't know what that was by the Broncos. It was a letdown. Let's let's call it that. Um, That's a nice way to put it. What everyone wanted to talk about was what happened at the, at the very end, the very last play. Three seconds left. Everyone expecting victory formation. What do the Ravens do? They run it three, four yards to keep their streak of 100 yards a game going. That's now tied for the most in NFL history. Mike says whoop de doo It's like a fake record. At least one Broncos coach knew what the Ravens were trying to do, and that was defensive line coach Bill Kolar. Now, we're not going to put the sound up on this video because it would just be a, a tone throughout the whole thing. There's a is lot Bill of words. Yes, uh, this is the FCC. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> May loving a major fine. <laughs> Before the play's even happening, here's Bill Kolar. He's pointing. He's saying, hey, he's, hey, watch what they're doing. They're still, watch it. Yeah, 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 you watch. He's, t he's talking to Fangio right now. He's, he looks annoyed. He looks yeah. like he's like, I cannot believe I'm trying to think of the clean translation. It was like, you see those mean guys out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what they're doing? Bleepity bleep 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 yes. bleep 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 And so the play bleep. goes, they get the, and then they go, oh, it's, mm, I can't are, believe they did that to can't us. can't believe How dare. They, they're showing me up. They are shoving it in my face, okay? Uh, <laughs> Shelby saying, did you see what they did? Did you see that stuff? Quite the uh, complicated issue. So here's what I'm gonna do. Romy, if you could face that wall. Michael, if you could face that wall. Ooh. The Ravens and the Broncos helmet, okay? Wow. I'm switching them up right now. You can hear them clanking, mixing around, mixing around, okay? Pick one of my hands, and that's the team you're gonna argue for. Turn around. Are we supposed to keep our eyes closed? No, 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 you can now look, because you, you're not gonna see where, where, where the helmets are. Have you already switched them? I have, so I you have know, mixed them you around. Know. Well, the right hand. Okay, you're choosing Broncos, you're choosing Ravens. Let's start with the away team. Why is what the Ravens did okay? Well, look, I mean, if the Broncos were this upset about it, they had an opportunity to try and stop the Ravens' run there. We just showed you they knew down, it was coming, right? Right. I mean, I think that, that Baltimore, it's something that was important to them and something that mattered. It's not like Baltimore went under center and faked the knee. They knew what was going on, um, so I, I think it's okay. Literally the play before, the Broncos were intercepted trying to score a touchdown, yeah. right? So there's that. Romy, why do the Broncos have a very just reason at being kind of peeved at the Ravens and what they did? There are ways to score 16-point touchdowns with three seconds left, <laughs> first of all. All. Two, it's Bush League, man. There's an unwritten code, right? You just broke the unwritten code of football. There's just certain things. It's a code. You just dominated us on our home turf. You know what? Why don't you let us leave with a little dignity? Somebody could have got hurt. It was Bush League. Somebody could get hurt on every single play. Well, so I don't buy that argument Here's because I'm the Ravens. But here's, here's the thing. They did run it with their quarterback. Had it been a running back trying to pound it up the middle, I may be more okay with it. And but if you take Lamar Jackson, and he's moving out, Are the is the defense really looking to actually hit him now? If I'm the Ravens, it's not like I'm trying to go deep over the top. True. You know what it I mean? I'm not yards. trying to put up score uh, points. I'm just trying to get a couple yards, man. Chill out, relax. All right, let's move on. Can you, can you hear that, guys? It's the sweet sound of dribbling basketballs. We are so close to NBA basketball. Earlier this week, the annual GM survey in the NBA came out. 63% said Nikola Jokic, easily the best center in the NBA. However, in the same GM poll, who will win the MVP this year? Nikola Jokic cannot be found, but the guy in second is the fourth. <laughs> I don't understand it. This is what got me thinking. Now that Nikola Jokic has won the MVP, he, he won the MVP award, is he ever gonna win it again? I don't think so. Sorry. See, I'm, no, no, no. I, 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 and this that. is why I don't think so. I think it's a there's a little bit of the NBA going, okay, the little nuggets got their MVP. Now let's get back to basketball and the, the players that, you know, it really matter. The fact that back to back MVPs are really difficult. So I can see why he wasn't on the list That's true. to win this That's coming true. year's MVP. I don't think that happens no matter how well he plays. 
The funny thing too, though, is like you said, like you know, everybody hates him. He's, just, he's the most likable person. Yeah. He's <laughs> such a good dude. You talk about like his work ethic, all the things that we see here. That is just so lost in the national perception, and it's like. Okay. And I'm with you. They gave him one. I don't think they're going to give him right. one. Right. I was like, the, okay, here you go. Now that's enough. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, before we get to hats off, let's have a little fun. I mean, I had fun the last time we played this game. Uh, let's you have guys... a little fun making you two look stupid. Right, yes. But we're going to do a segment called Who Dis? I have taken quite a few pictures of a lot of Denver athletes in their time here. Um, so I'm going to show some very deep dives into the archive and see if these two can name them. These are players they have covered in their time in Denver. So let's see what they got. First up. Who dis? Oh. Four? 12? 12 packs to the 12 packs to the Lynch, congrats. Who's number four? Kevin Hogan? Not Brett Rippon. Not Case Ew. Keenum. That's Austin Davis. Oh. Uh, Do you remember him? No. Do you like no. I just started Clearly not. Like Kevin Hogan, right. Brandon <laughs> Allen, who can I think You were very of? close. All right. Uh, who dis? Michael. Is that, that's not Jordan Lyles. No, it's not Jordan Lyles. Is it Chad? <laughs> Try chat. Chatfield? No. <laughs> Chatfield. Chatfield. Chatwick? Tyler Chatwood. Tyler Chatwood. There you go. Yeah, I think he's still pitching. I don't know who he's, who's, who's he pitching for. This is embarrassing. <laughs> he's with the Giants, so much like Rockies. most former oh, Rockies, yeah. enjoying the postseason. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, let's try who is that? I hate this game. Is that Lorenzo? Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue who this is. I took this picture and I like Broncos roster on this date and I still can't find out who this is. I believe he's a running back. He may be a fullback because I think Jana was hurt one year. Shout out uh, to you, 38. If, if anyone out there knows, please hit me up because I need to know who this person is. Let's wrap up with a quick hats off segment. This is where we get to give a little shout out to someone who had a really good week that uh, may have gotten overshadowed by other things. So, uh, Romy, you wanted to go first? Yeah, I'm going first because I don't want it. Okay. Kelly Worthman told me she likes my hat flip, so I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> well. Thank you, Kelly. Hey. To Michaela Oninwere. Oh, WNBA very well done. Rookie very well done. of the year, yeah. Grandview High School alumnus, making Colorado proud. Congratulations, Michaela. Keep it up. My hat's off. Goes to, I got a new hat just for this. Air Force women's soccer player, Mia Otero. Guys, did you see this game winner in uh, sudden death? Ramos, or check that, Otero. Bang! Ooh. Ooh. Wow. 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 That was gorgeous. I mean, that is what? Thir thir I'm gonna say 30-ish yards out, bang, over the goalie. Yeah. I mean, that's how you beat, that's how you win a game. That's a walk-off right there. Going Rockies, CJ Crone, new two-year yes. deal. Hats Good. off to Hats CJ off. Crone. Well uh, career highs this year, basically across the board and everything but home run. Uh, Hats off CJ Crone on your new deal. Woo, well uh, done. So there you go, uh, we gotta go. Romy's gotta, hey, Tyler Columbus. Tyler Hello. Columbus. What are your thoughts on the uh, Broncos Ravens uh, post game or final play? Oh man, was it push league a little bit for sure? Uh, was it that big of a transgression? I don't really think so. There you go. We're on your you side. Don't like it? Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bingo. Man has, man has good points. <laughs> man has good points. Go uh, watch him on NFL Football Preview at uh, 6:30 yes. on Saturday. That's what they're gonna go tape. Uh, yeah. But for Tyler Promise, Romy Bean, Michael Spencer, I'm Ryan Green. Thanks for coming to the sports office.